five businesses five businesses that you should never do even if they paid you never over the week i made a post asked them this interesting question i said if you could have all the capital that you need what business would you actually do and interestingly 300 people responded it would interest you to know that most of the businesses that we think are businesses are not really businesses and i'll come to this in a minute but before that, I want, you to, I want to tell you five principles that if you're a businessman, if your business does not follow these five principles, then it is time to get worried. Five. I learned this when I operated a business. I did a loan business for a very long time. And this business did so well. And at a point, everything came crashing. And when COVID came, I was knocked out completely flat. And these are the lessons I learned from doing that business. And then lesson number one is this. Always control your capital always control your capital every business that you are going to do should never put your capital at risk every business should only risk your profits and never your capital that is why real estate is considered as one of the best investment out there because when you rent real estate to people even if they don't pay you and you kick them out it is your cap your profit that you lose you don't lose your capital what i did was that i gave out loans to people they were supposed to pay my principal plus the profit. Most of the time, they didn't pay the profit and they didn't pay the principal. Any business that you want to do, the question you should always ask yourself is that this investment or this business I'm going to do, will it ensure that my capital is still around in 60 years, in 50 years, when I'm 60, when I'm 70? Every capital that you have right now, you should actually look at it as money that is going to be in your life when you are 60 years, when you are 70 years old. And if you have this understanding, if you can invest in even other people's business. Is the business such that your capital is protected? Does the business have real assets? Because the only asset my business had was the loans we were giving to people. The loans themselves were the assets. And once we lost money on the loans, on the loans we lost assets of the business. So does the business have assets such that it is its profit that it loses. The second mistake that you can make as a businessman is if you fail to make this observation. Businesses where people pay before they receive the service will always outlive businesses where people receive the service before they pay. I don't want to impose my opinion on you. Put this to test. Observe this. Most businesses where people pay before they receive the service. In fact, it is the way you are able to keep your business. When people pay you money before you offer the service, if you are an ethical, honest businessman, it should be easy for you to grow your business from there. But businesses where you offer the service and then wait for payments, if you are not a big business that has structures to be able to control this, you are very easily going to lose. Third mistake that I made that every business should avoid, and this I like this concept. This concept is a concept that I like. Always, I mean, I'm always against debt, any form of debt. If you are going to take any form of debt, avoid taking any form. But if you have to, because I know people, I have friends who operate on debt and it works out fine. I personally am against debt because of the situation I had. But if you have to take debt, take on debt, make sure that you are outside of debt, not inside of debt. Outside, not inside. Inside of debt means that you have let's say $2, and you have gone to borrow $3 to add to your business. It means that the money you have actually borrowed is more than the money that actually belongs to yourself. Being outside of debt is to have $3 and borrow $2. That means the debt is inside you. You are outside of the debt. Okay, you are not inside of the debt. The point is to be outside of the debt so that if you have a problem, you can always find yourself because it is money you have actually ever made you are used to you know how to make that money you can make it again but if you are inside debt like what happened to me i was operating my business it was doing so well and i went around and borrowed money took money from everyone and people were happy because i had a good reputation they were happy to give me their money and i actually took on more money than i actually had so when that happens to you when you lose your business you are actually grieving the fact that you have lost your business and now you have to pay money to other people more than money the amount of money you have to pay to the people will be more than the money you have actually ever made in your life that means that <laughs> the first time you make that money it doesn't even belong to you you have to give to other people because you have never made that money in your life and you don't want to be in this situation where you have to pay 
people money you have never actually never made you want to always be you have three dollars you have been able to make three dollars then you borrow two dollars you actually know how to make three dollars so that when you lose there are two dollars even if you lose everything you can make it again it's easy for you done the fourth mistake that you should never make as an entrepreneur and you know this already because i've made a video about it is always try to respond to a demand don't try to create a demand try to respond to something that people want already then you come and you say this is the solution this is my offer don't try to create and that's what i did i i didn't give out loans because people actually wanted loans and they were asking for it i gave out loans because i wanted to grow i had my money and i wanted to grow my money so i approached people and said do you want a loan do you want so i had situations where somebody came to take a loan a friend of, of theirs escorted them to come take the loan and they ended up taking a loan themselves i was giving to basically everyone okay with no um, because i was taking passport it wasn't even solid so i was doing it basically for me yes a business should also be for you but it has to be something that others also need as well so this i want because i already have a video about this so i want to explain this a lot fifth criteria that your business has to absolutely respect is that your business should have a lot of cash flow there's a big difference between cash flow and profit and the mistake a lot of people have is that you have a business that makes profits it makes profit all right but it doesn't have cash flow profits is what I, I give money to people if you buy something cheaper and you give to someone more expensive even if the person hasn't paid you yet it is sort of a profit that you have made because the person is supposed to pay you more so you have profit but cash flow is the moment where they give you the money so you have to have a business where the money comes inside the business it shouldn't only be about profit because you can be a profitable business that is bankrupt and when my business was falling i i was making so much profit i was making so much incredible amounts of profit because i had given out more loans but in actual fact i didn't have money to operate you are bankrupt you don't have money to operate but you have profit and then you have to now find a new business going around looking for your money so it is always important to do a business that is cash flow friendly not profit it's not all about profit cash flow sometimes is even more important than, than profit quite honestly i said that yes every business should make profit basically now i said that i was going to tell you why i said a lot of the businesses that we call business are not businesses most of the businesses that most people and you can look at the post that i made that most businesses most people call businesses are not really businesses they are just jobs people have created for themselves jobs people have created for themselves and they call a business the aim of a business should be that a business should grow otherwise you should just get a job if all your business can do is to get you money to be able to feed you and for the next five ten years the business stays the same and you're only able to feed yourself it's respectable it is better than a job i agree better always better than a job always better than a job because then you are your own boss you are doing things on your own you are feeding yourself you don't have to count and you can't get fired anytime so it is always better than a job but the aim of every business is that the business should actually grow at the end of every month maybe a month is too much let's say at the end of every year the business should be actually worth more than it was last last year so if maybe you were doing a cocoa joint at the end of the next year the business should actually have money in the bank that is as a result of the business's operation for the entire year or you should have two cocoa joints at least you know that the business is growing on its own it is not just that you work you have a business where you operate to feed yourself you repeat the same thing feed yourself the next day you might as well get a job so it's the same thing so most of the businesses you know they are not scalable business they are not businesses that you can actually grow you know they are not businesses you can't grow them my name is adnan sani i call myself dangote i've made a video called don't start a business you'll fail it is a very a very interesting video and i think that you should have a look at it